Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name is Sarah. I'm a medical student, and today I am getting my second COVID vaccine. It is Friday morning, and uh, I've had classes since like 8 a.m. Um, it's like 10 now, yeah. And I still have a few more classes online. It's kind of a busy day. I have a bunch of studying to do because my final exam is next Thursday. So I have less than a week to be prepared for that. And then I'm going to be tutoring some master students today and getting the vaccine. I'm tired. So it's about 3.30, I have done all my classes and studied for a while and I've gotten some stuff together to tutor some students later and now I'm about to go get the vaccine. It's like 30 degrees and raining and gross, but I'm going to be immune to COVID so I'm also hoping this doesn't make me too sick, but we'll see. I am home, I am studying, and just checking in to say that I feel fine. My arm doesn't hurt at all, um, so I think that's a little bit better than last time, but we'll see what ends up happening. Hey guys, it is Saturday morning, and I'm feeling totally fine. My arm's not even sore, so I'm actually doing better than I was with the first vaccine, um, and I haven't had any side effects at all last night or this morning so doing pretty good. It is Saturday afternoon and I've been studying all day and cleaning the apartment um, and I'm starting to feel a little like tired-ish. I mean it could just be because I've been cleaning the apartment and everything but I don't know, I'm not feeling as great as I was this morning. My arm hurts a little. It's not like post-vaccine soreness. It's more like almost a sharp pain. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but other than that, like, I'm fine. I don't feel too bad. So I don't have a fever or anything. So yeah. Hey guys, today's Monday. I didn't really vlog over the weekend, but I thought I would fill you in on kind of a timeline of the symptoms I was feeling this weekend. Also, shout out to Rachel for giving me these because they're my favorite and I love them. So thank you. <laughs> So I said Saturday that I was starting to feel a little off, but not necessarily too bad. Um, and for the rest of the night, I did feel a little like sluggish, I guess, but nothing too terrible. Um, I really didn't feel anything too bad Sunday morning either, but last night sucked. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because of the vaccine itself or if I just like got something else. I had an awful like sharp headache. Um, and it ended up really nauseous and kind of had a fever, it felt like. I didn't actually take my temperature, but I felt feverish. And again, it was a full like 48 hours after the vaccine, so I don't know if it's related to that or if it's just something else, but... So since I just got the vaccine, I decided it's no better time to go ahead and dispel some of the common myths about the COVID vaccine. Myth number one, the vaccine isn't safe because it was rushed through testing and hasn't been researched extensively. This is not true because science is a wonderful thing and the vaccine has been tested very extensively. Um, the Pfizer vaccine, which is the one that I got, has been tested in about 43,000 people. So that's quite a large sample size and usually makes for some very accurate, generalizable results. Myth number two, I've already had COVID, so there's no need to get the vaccine. I'm already immune. Right now, we don't know how long immunity lasts after having COVID, and so it's recommended that everyone, whether you've had COVID or not, still get the vaccine at some point. Myth number three, there are a lot of severe side effects to the vaccine, like Bell's palsy, death, 
Studies have shown that the Pfizer vaccine is completely safe. It can cause some mild to moderate symptoms, but nothing too severe, nothing that I would personally worry about. Myth number four, as soon as I get vaccinated, I can stop wearing a mask and start going out like I want to. This is not true because, first of all, once you get the vaccine, even after you get the second dose, it takes two to three weeks for your body to develop an adequate immune response to the virus. However, even once you're immune, the vaccine only protects you from becoming symptomatic yourself. You can still carry the virus and transmit it to other people, so it's still recommended that you socially distance and wear a mask to protect other people. Five, I think. The mortality rate of COVID is only like one to two percent, so I don't really need to get vaccinated or worry about it. A one percent mortality rate is still ten times the mortality rate of the flu. And yes, plenty of perfectly healthy people have died from COVID, so it is absolutely worth getting vaccinated and protecting yourself and other people. Myth number six the COVID vaccine has tracking chips or something. No just no besides honey the government does not care about you enough to track you myth number seven the covid vaccine can alter your dna <sighs> no classical pathway of biology is dna to rna to protein the covid vaccine is an rna vaccine which means you can't go backwards, you can only go forwards and create proteins, specifically for the spike protein of the coronavirus. It cannot go backwards and create DNA, and it definitely cannot alter your DNA. Myth number nine, I think. The COVID vaccine can cause infertility or miscarriage. As of right now, it is still recommended to get the COVID vaccine even if you are pregnant. There's currently no research contraindicating the vaccine during pregnancy. Myth number 10? No. You shouldn't get the vaccine if you're allergic to eggs. The Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine both do not contain eggs or anything resembling eggs or anything related to eggs. Just, you can get the vaccine. This information is from the Mayo Clinic and from my own personal knowledge as a scientist. So I hope that you trust it as accurate and I hope you enjoyed hearing me debunk all of these myths. So I would encourage you all to get the vaccine, wear a mask, social distance, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it and thanks for watching.